from our ball theater. I am so happy right now. Dom, look at you. Is your your enrichment went up? Yes. You guys, look at that. We finally had our dinosaurs playing with one of the very first play items that they have inside of the entire exhibit, the ball feeder. Hopefully that made Dom a little bit happier and we'll be able to celebrate some happy dinos soon. We also have the stump feeder over here, so maybe somebody's eating out of that. Enrichment is going up just slowly. So hopefully we will make this happen. Oh my gosh Why is somebody unhappy over here? Oh because he is in the dark and he is hungry. He has a banana Eat your banana crowin. I swear you're gonna you're gonna like it. Oh and his decorate No, his decoration went up when he came over on this side. Uh Oh, and what's happening over here? Pandora Pandora, if you want privacy, we have a lot of areas where you can find that out over here. I wonder if she's actually outgrown this little privacy area. Like, not the large tree, but I wonder if she's outgrown the flat shelter rock spot. I, I think we might need a bigger one for her because she's gotten so big. And actually, if she wants more privacy, I have figured out how to put down privacy tiles where people will not be able to see our dragons very much, uh, but it will actually provide them with some privacy. So let's actually finish off this night, there we go, by putting down just little patches here and there where my dinosaurs can feel like they've got, they can get out of the public view, especially at the back here. And then people will have to wait a little bit. It might be a little hard for people to see them, but if they're patient and they walk around, they should still be able to see some of my dinos. And here we go, we can like hide all of these spots. And I think that that'll hide like the, there we go. Yeah, this should definitely make the privacy for my dinosaurs go way up and make them feel happier. Look at this, nice, my guests are headed out of here. Good night everyone, I hope you enjoyed your hot dogs and bananas. It's a special kind of nutritional diet we have here, don't you worry. All right, and Dom? Yeah, look at Dom's privacy, like through the roof. And enrichment is going up from using the rock shelters. Huzzah, look, look, look. Oh, oh, wait, don't look, okay. There we go. But yes, everyone, hello and welcome back to the early alpha access of Parkasaurus, where I seem to finally be putting things together. We have toilets installed, which are making my guests a lot happier. We even have four stars over here. Our very first four star review from Chapter Hoof, who says they slept on a bench. Well, thank you. And you could tell Raven loved mom. Aww. Dynadesia is a culinary delight. Five stars! The sun was too bright. Well, at least we had five stars. We're getting a ton of scientific research done by our two talking scientists as well. Uh, and I'm starting to make a little bit of money, which is great. Why is everybody unhappy? Their enrichment is so low when they wake up. They just wake up with like zero enrichment, which is so sad. So one of my big goals today is to make my dinosaurs happier. And I think that comes with the toy ball. Like we got our vegetarian dinosaurs, the ball feeder and the sump feeder. It doesn't seem to be having like a huge improvement on their mood. So I think, whoop, and it's time to go. There we go. Yeah, time to snag some plants. So I think we really want to focus on, like the forest pack could give us more trees and grasses. Research by unlocking, uh, yeah, and the heart tree. But I don't think it would make them happy. And I think we have big dinosaurs now. So I do think medium dinosaur besties, large dinosaur besties. I think we need like the large shelter for like large dinosaur friends for some of our dinosaurs. Like our stegosauruses are uh, getting really big. <laughs> so I think we do need, whoa, there's castle shelters and cave shelters for teensy ones. <gasps> okay, yeah, I think we need to work on getting, oh, stegosauria swooners, good for stegosauruses. Yeah, that's what we need because we have stegosauruses. I wanna make them happy. I want sauropods. I want sauropods. We need to make all these things happen. Uh, but we need to work on getting that ball first. So we're gonna spend the uh, hearts on the tiny shelters for tiny animal friend or tiny dinosaur friends. And we'll get the ball next time. Speaking of tiny dinosaur friends, let's go ahead and do some digging. Holy cow, Rich. 
You're an amazing scientist, Rich. Oh, he's got this, guys. Like, look at his skills. Look at those skills. We're just gonna come in here. Maybe if I uncover a few of the places myself. Like, maybe if we do all of our digging kind of as a team. Let's see. Yeah, maybe if we do our digging as a team, I'll actually be able to uncover more than I used to on my own. Because then we can have Rich come in. Did he find anything? Nope. Did we find anything deeper? Oh, 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 we do have something right over here. All right. All right, so I got something there. <gasps> Employee Bella has just gained a level. Oh, so when we're doing this, then they actually get to level up in their employee skills too, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's keep digging. Oh, no tools left. Oh, no. They've run out of energy. I'm going deeper. How deep can I go? I think you can only go like those three levels. Was there anything there? Nope. All right, time to return home. And let's go ahead and send out to another zone. Phew. All right, and look, there's people coming in. Oh, I wonder if I can increase my ticket price. <laughs> like, you can. Okay, it's going to go up to six fifty now. And we're going to see how much we can make. Because I think people are becoming happier to come and be part of our, our park. Which is really nice. Uh, let's also get rid of these paths right there. There we go. And we need to make my dinosaurs happier. <laughs> Hopefully they will become happier. Look at all these happy people. Uh, I think bathrooms are definitely a problem though. So let's see what we can do about bathrooms. We already own the outhouse. Uh, we have this, don't we? Wait, outhouse upgrade? Oh, outhouse upgrade. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on that because I think it's important. An admission booth, sell entrance tickets. Oh my gosh, it looks like you could make a admission booth an upgrade. Okay, I want to do that too. So I'm, we're going to go ahead and do that, which also means my employees can now have better perks. High toxin uh, on donate gain 10 science. Okay. Uh, so the high amount of blowfish. So this is a perk on donate gain 10 science increase at the park, huh? A triceratops arch greatly increases the decoration wonder of your guest. That is so cool. All right. There's a lot going on over here that will hopefully include being able to get the orange topia and the funnel cakes. Can I get those? I can. <gasps> yes. Butter thirsty, which will increase our guest thirst. Funnel cake cinnamon, which will have guests call their friends if they are uh, above a certain level of happiness. And soda and pop. So you would get both soda and pop from this place right here. We need a little more science for that. Food court entrance, french fry stand, burger bonza, and then we also have rare gems we could unlock. We want to work on getting towards that rare gem, so I'm going to unlock this. There we go. And the burger place adds decoration and food and the funnel place cake adds more. So the burger place would probably give everybody like more food and I could sell, we could sell, uh, there's these really yummy beyond burgers <laughs> that are vegan burgers that look and taste disturbingly like the real thing. So I'm going to say we're selling that. Whoa, but it's so big. <laughs> Why does it have to be so big? Ugh. All right, because it seems to be the best place for decoration and for food that we have yet. Because we do have the taco shop, which increases. No, actually, it's fun. So the burger place increases fun. All right. Oh, and our expedition team just arrived. Man, it is so busy now. I should probably think about hiring another scientist because this gets stuff done fast. Like boom, boom, boom. I know where I need to go with this guy. Don't even have to waste any time. Look at that. Now I can just go ahead and kind of peck off a few places. Get some money. Clear out some areas. Um, let's see. Come on in. There we go. Do a little more research. Nice. We found another location that we can do some digging in. Very nice. Very nice. I, oh, look at that. We found a whole bunch more. Good job, everybody. Good job, team. Super proud. No, we destroyed it. Okay, now I learned you absolutely cannot touch the piece except on the tile that you can dig it up on. Ooh, that was really lucky. 
And then I think, ah, oh, we're gonna miss that piece. Okay, so that was really, really useful. And we have even more pieces. Uh, and I was gonna move this pine tree. All right, pine tree, you're gonna scooch down here. We have a hot dog stand down there. Oh, I wonder if I could just exchange the hot dog stand and swap it out for the burger bonsai. <gasps> I could! All right, let's actually go ahead uh, and perk. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we change the perk of the profit zero? Ingredient, bananas, price 10. I can change the color of the banana stand. <laughs> purple and green. I demand it to be purple and green. And we shall make slightly more ripened bananas. Wonderful. That's actually really nice. Uh, the hot dogs are pretty popular. What does a hot dog stand give us? Let's double check. Where's my hot dog stand? It just gives you one. That's not popular enough. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. We're gonna upgrade. We are now, we have, we have joined this century and we are now selling some really amazing science burgers. They are science burgers, my friends, because they are actually, um, here, we need to move this somewhere to you. Hmm, hmm, where guests can like sit, maybe chat with our scientist, boom. But these are now science burgers. They are, let's switch this over. I need to upgrade this. This needs to be a recycling bin. So we're actually gonna get rid of that. But they are the really cool like beyond burgers, we shall say. The ones that provide you with fake meat uh, and we'll, we'll like make it fake dinosaur meat because why not? All right, there we go. We got about, ooh, that's a lot. The dig really helps. So going on the digs really, really helps. We now have some more hearts. But yeah, actually I love, I love the idea of lab grown meat. I'm a huge fan of that because I have been vegan for many years, but it's just really cool. And doesn't it make so much sense to think that you would have lab grown meat if you were running like a place like this? Cause then you could be like, this is authentic T-Rex DNA. No T-Rexes were actually harmed in the making of this dessert or like this delicious burger, which I think would be kind of like fun, right? All right, let's come over here. I'm going to clear out some of this path. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's go ahead and clear all of this out to you. There we go. Not the burger place. Don't want to clear out the burger place. I do want to clear out some of the path underneath it though, so that we can make it a little more decorative over here in just a little bit. And we're going to change the colors. Let's get it to fit the theme. We're going green. All right, so we'll make it go green. The top is the bun. <laughs> what? The meat is meat. The bottom is the bun. Okay. <laughs> And we're gonna charge 12 smacks for it. And this guy came right over and he was like, I would enjoy that. He looks like he's having a great day. Our expedition team has been super busy. This is so cool. All right, come on, buddy. We got this. All right, what about one more? Well, we can get like a whole search done there. Nice, all right. So then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna have just carefully, like so. And then Infrid, if you would. All right, oh, 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 she's onto something down here. Onto something. All right, clear this away. And maybe clear that away. There we go. And if we could just gently, ooh, nice, nice. All right, maybe I can, oh, there's another one down here. Okay, can I get all of them though? Clear that away. Perfect, all right. No money that time, team. Whoops, I actually had more left over. No, there was so much there. No money that time, but that's all right. Phew, all right, so now we have a new burger joint that I really like. I wanna put down some decorations and scenery to make people happy because that will cause them to spend more money. Yay, and our, our scientists are gaining more like experience from all of this too, which is very nice. We have a nice picnic table. Here, we can put down a couple picnic tables in front of the burger joint, actually. That sounds like a good idea. If people just wanna like sit right here or maybe come over here and just sit down outside and enjoy their delicious, like completely cool <laughs> burgers. And there's like a cool triceratops arch that we could have people walk through. It's really awesome. Or the really cool mossy arch. I'm not sure if I wanna put the arches down yet, uh, cause I want to figure out how they work. 
There's a food court entrance. And we also have like decorative rock pile, <laughs> which is nice. Can I put like, we have some potted plants, um, the boxed hedges, which would make people happy. Can I put this like right here? I can. And there's like our recycling spot. Okay, and people are coming. Yeah, people are lining up to eat. Can they sit down in the picnic tables? They should be able to. Maybe I can give them a little sign. So we'll even put down like a little sign while they eat. They can they can read off of the sign. And I'm gonna come and I'm actually going to put in maybe some, ooh, 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 actually, what's this? The wooden booth? No, 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 the wildflower decoration. I wanna, I wanna put down some wildflowers. Where's that? Where's that? Box Laurel, wildflowers, yes! I love wildflowers, okay. And I wanna put like a companion decoration on this side and then remove the path under it. All right, I'm starting to get into the, the vibe of how to decorate and how to start building <laughs> in this world. It is making a little bit more sense with each with each little addition that we do. We can put down some little daffodils right here. Look at how nice that is, I like it. I like it, and then if I wanted to change the terrain under it, you just come on in with your grass and you're like, hey, we're gonna put down grass everywhere. Look at that, slowly but surely, transforming the world from a desert into a, a brand new area where we can even put in privacy tiles in really cute spots. Look at this, ha <laughs> ha, greenery everywhere. My heart is content. Uh, are people able to eat off of this food stand? Like, it, I hope they are. I mean, they're, they're walking around with cotton candy, so they must be. All right, well, that makes me very happy uh, having gotten in a brand new like burger joint. Uh, we have yet another research team. So now that we have done so much, immense amounts of research with our research teams, I think it is easily time for us to finally make some new dinosaurs. The time has definitely come. We're going to have some new additions to this family one way or another, my friends. And it's time to go and speak with the chickens next time. Oh, I love the chickens. All right, let's see, maybe one more good dig. Okay, there's something over there, but let's see what I can get to. That one, that one, and this one, and this one. Nice. All right, so. Yeah, we've got to speak with the chickens. Uh, people are leaving some trash over here, so I think it may be time to maybe get like another, oh my gosh, there's a lot of trash. I think it's time to get another janitor or, oh, I destroyed their ability to reach that trash can by putting down all of my decorative things. So let's actually scooch this over here and they should be able to reach it now. Uh, still perfecting figuring out how people will clean stuff up. Oh, and there's that red crystal. Oh, I put those there as decoration. That's right, now I remember. <laughs> and I like how everything is changing, but we do need to see, can we get the ball? Not yet, but by the end of the night, we will be able to get the ball for our dinosaurs and continue changing and making this place look awesome. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.